This episode of Road to Apex is sponsored by Transtar. Previously on Road to Apex. I can't believe this. Such an oddball piece. <laughs> That's the most work you've done in weeks. So on our earlier assessment of our Blackwood, we had noticed that the front fascia was cracked, but I didn't know the extent of the damage to the front bumper. And the fascia is back in place and ready to be painted. Hey, it looks weird now, but it looks a lot better than it did when we first drove it in. So there were some things that we just couldn't get done at the Babcock shop. So we're up here at Ohio Technical College to work with some of the students on some of those projects that we needed just a little more help on. This facility is incredible. What did you say this was? This was originally the White Motor Company. The truck building company was right here. So White Motors was in this building originally. And this building was done in early 1900, somewhere around 1903. We're antique a little bit here. That goes along with our rod and custom and restoration programs. We had a situation here with the Blackwood where the trunk, uh, sorry, trunk, the bed of the truck is actually more like a trunk. Um, and consequently, we needed to do something to make it a little more truckish. So uh, we've come up with the concept where we're gonna slide a piece of material in there in place of the carpet. People at Transtar are gonna take their new product and bring it all over there and down and across the cladding and down to the bumper. And it's gonna give it a uniform look, but it's gonna be durable and look good and be much more like a truck. As much as I hate to credit Bob, Bob's, this was Bob's idea. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got the front fascia ready to go, we've got the hood ready to go, and we've got the hard tonneau cover ready to go. These are gonna be coated and painted black. You can see that the vehicle is taped off, scuffed up, and ready for that Transtar coating. We should mention that our partners, Transtar, they're using some incredible products here yes. this year too. They have got some really nice stuff that they've been using back there. The students are actually gonna get to spray some of their items they brought and they make it look so easy, you know? I think it is easy to spray. It really looked, I think I could even spray. Now, that. Bob, remember you told me you don't like painting. I hate painting. Here is Transtar's latest and greatest product. It is our two-way bed coating. This is the black version, um, which we're gonna spray all over in different areas of the Blackwood Apex truck. And shake it up there for a couple minutes. And then once it's shaken, there you go. It's ready to be used. So this is our speed clear, top speed clear. Um, it's a great clear coat for small parts like we're doing, um, especially the lenses. What we're pouring into it now is the activator. The activator that goes with this is just slow. It's such a fast product. If you do something with a medium or fast, which is also in the same label, it's too, it's too much. You can get popping or it won't get flow out or proper flow out because it's just reacting too fast. All right, we'll go in there and start spraying. All right, so what we just did there, just kind of make sure we got the right fine medium texture. I'm gonna start on this back bumper here and then go on to the front bumper. Then I'll have a student come in here and spray the uh, back panel piece and it'll already be dialed in for them. 
biggest thing with this stuff is you just want to get a first tack coat on there. You'll see some spots that you can see through to the part. Once we put on the second coat, it'll all even out. And then if we need a third coat, we'll go as necessary. Back up a little bit. There you go, yep. You made it look too easy. We're never doing it, that's perfect. Here we're gonna apply the texture coating to the lower cladding of this truck. Tom already applied the adhesion promoter to it, so we should be good to go. Since 1927, AP Emissions has been your source for complete exhaust innovation. We're your one-stop shop for the exhaust brands you know and the quality you trust. Visit APEmissions.com. Transstar Industries is a global leader in aftermarket distribution with 45 years of experience offering speedy delivery on transmission, differential, and AC parts through local stocked branches and a national distribution network. Transstar now offers high quality OE recycled transmissions and transfer cases, a perfect choice for cost conscious customers. Transstar is continuing to expand product offerings including brakes, electrical, steering, suspension, and more helping you to provide your customers with fast, reliable service. Transstar parts are available for online ordering through transcend.us or right through your shop management system. Ordering with Transstar has never been easier. Hardworking hands need a hardworking shop towel. Tough on everything from heavy metals and grease to tar and adhesives, Gojo scrubbing towels can be used anywhere heavy duty hand and surface cleaning is required without water, even on the road to Apex. Today's technicians look to the aftermarket for quality parts so they can turn their bays and get their customers back on the road. BCA Bearings by NTN provides OE quality wheel hubs, bearings, and seals to ensure that when customers come back, they come back for the great service. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Yeah. Really? 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 Really. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Welcome back to Project Blackwood. We're here at Ohio Technical College with Bob and also with Eric Garba. He's our technical writer from Babcock and he's gonna be helping us out today on our transmission change. We also have Dave. Dave, welcome. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna pull out the old broken transmission, put in the nice new remanufactured 4R100 and we're gonna get this car back on the road so we make it safe. Awesome, we're really looking forward to it. Let's get to work. So basically what I did is I just marked the drive shaft and everything so when it goes back it all goes back the same way you took it out and that will eliminate any kind of vibration you might have if you have the drive shaft 180 out. We have 
have removed part of the exhaust because it's getting a new exhaust in there. And we have now removed the cross member, which is going to allow us to drop this down a little bit more and gain more access to the cooler lines, the linkage, the MLPS, and then we'll take the front off, get the converter loose. We will then at that point start peeling the bell housing bolts and this thing will be out of here in a little bit. Okay. Your hands will heal. Now watch, coming down a little bit. Okay, you see anything hooked on it? Yeah, always look across the top there. One, one wire or, uh, towards the front the up there or something. Okay. It's hooked up up top. Is it clipped onto it? Yeah. Okay. He's getting it out right now. Oh, you, got, you can slide that under there and yeah, pop it out. Pop it out. Okay, I got it. Here we are day two at Ohio Technical College. Today, we're going to be installing this new one. Part of today's thing before we even get this underneath the vehicle is to swap some of the components off of this to the new unit. You know, as Dave said, we got the old transmission out yesterday. Everything really went very smooth. And I think we're ready to, to get back on this new one, huh, Dave? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's get going. the transmission in with the bolt but you can get that in now it acts as a guide pin and then you could shake it up in so see if you can get that in the hole now you can start that bolt if you can wiggle it and get a couple threads going and that works you up in so we got this side It went really well for the young students to be their first time doing it. And again, you got bumps, you got learning curves, but it went pretty smooth. We didn't break anything. The bench, nothing's left over. They still got a little work to do. They have to change the radiator and the cooler, but the lines are nice and clean, buttoned up. Uh, and then they'll put the exhaust on. And then they're pretty much done with the transmission, but it still needs a 
whole list of work and so hopefully these students get a great learning experience working on something like that. And it was so great for me to give back to the industry of the stuff I've learned over the years and to see the next generation coming up. That, to me, is more important. I had more fun doing that than anything. Aftermarket Armor introduces a bed liner that has a four hour pot life, which is twice as long as the competition, giving you the needed time to complete the job. A proprietary formulated product giving you the best UV resistance, protecting your vehicle from sun fade for years to come. Find out more at aftermarketarmor.com. At 1-800-EVERY-RIM OEM Wheels, with a massive inventory, we buy and sell reconditioned, new takeoff, and used OEM replacement wheels, all backed by over 150 years of combined experience. Text pictures to 951-RIM-TEXT or visit us online at 1-800-EVERY-RIM. Rim.com. United Motor Products has been manufacturing and delivering OEM replacement engine management products for 35 years. Trusted by installers for over three decades, you can be sure United Motor Products produces and delivers the quality products you can trust. Visit unitedmotorproducts.com. When the OE part fails, count on the brand with world-class engineering, precision manufacturing, and more than 100 years of experience. When OE fails, trust Standard. What's in your box? For the ones who demand the best, there's a Coats machine to get the job done right. Precision that never quits. Toughness that defines legends. Coats, engineered to perform, designed to last. Visit CoatsCompany.com to learn more. Welcome back to OTC and Project Blackwood. You remember Eric from last time. We're here with Eric because we're going to do a walk around and an actual assessment of the vehicle underneath what needs to be done. Eric, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be fantastic. We had a great time last time. We got the transmission in and we're back. And now we have a lot of parts, right, Scott? Do and there's a lot of work to do. So there's a lot of work. let's go let's take get a look. to it. Now I'm noting some things down, Scott, on my list, but like differential oil, do we want to change that? I'm going to run the bearings past okay. Joe so to see put, if he wants to do. But I've got that down. We'll put new diff bearings, fluid in it. Diff fluid, I think would be good. I we'll uh, need a gasket for the diff, unless you RTV it. Looks like it's RTV. Yeah, it looks right like now. it's already been RTV. So I'll note that down. We need to get a tube of RTV. A spare tire. I wonder what he wants to do. Is there a spare in the back of this? No, but we'll have one. You're going to have a spare. Yeah, we'll have back. a spare. Okay. And just, we need rotors. We need got pads. That down. Rotors, pads. Okay. Yeah. And front rotors. We've got that noted down. Okay, so remember, these vehicles were equipped with Air Ride. And you can see right here, this is the old ride height sensor. But of course, on our vehicle, that's been disabled and they've put aftermarket shocks on here. So we won't have to worry about this ride height sensor anymore. Uh, but as of note, that, that's there. There's probably going to be ride height sensors in the front potentially also. Okay. U joints, I have U joints noted down. We need to get a couple U joints. Boy, this U joint's really sloppy right here. Is it? Move that one up and down. Oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. The exhaust is we're going to see what we can do from cat back. Fuel filter, I noted that down. I think that'd be a good. Now, body mounts, while we're working our way down. It, it, it's had them in the it's, rear, it's, but so it needs them here. So we need a total four. four, correct? Yes. Okay. Nice job on the installation on the tranny. Have, uh, have we addressed this oil leak up here? And Joe noted down a seal, an adapter seal. Yep. Uh, it's probably an O-ring. So, oil filter housing, gasket, and oil filter, oil pressure sensor. So, is it if there's a pressure sensor on that housing, it's a good chance it's leaking as well. Uh, how could we forget? We're, we've got to get an aftermarket transmission cooler. So we're going to do uh, inner and outer tie rod ends, upper and lower ball joints. We're going to put uh, upper control arms on it. What do you think, Possibly shocks? shocks. Yeah, I think we're going to do shocks. Stabilizer links. How do those brake hoses look? Are they still they, pliable? They're pliable, they look okay. Okay. Of course, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think they might be right. These lines, so the lines look pretty decent. You know, Scott, 
I was just thinking these, uh, looking at these parking brakes, I bet these have mini drum brakes in here. I well, bet we should get that. So you know how that stuff tends to fall apart when you yeah. pull the rotor off? I thought this was interesting. Yeah, and the, the, and the parking the brake. Plate. Yeah, the parking brake. It's got those little, so we should actually get that. Those it, parking brake. The park, the, um, the shoes, shoes that go hardware. against the inside of the rotor. Yeah, because I bet we tear those rotors off and they'll be falling apart. Yep. I think that about gets it, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, no, I think so. Okay, we've done our walk around. We've gone from the front to back, top to bottom, all over the Blackwood, just to check everything out. We've got a lot of work done to it, but we've got a lot of work to do still. We've listed all the parts we need, everything we need to order, and we're gonna get back, we're gonna get some parts ordered, get them out here, and get back to work. Aishin is a trusted and reliable source for high-quality aftermarket automotive components and technology. We redefine mobility through our broad range of technologies and product lines. At Aishin, we are poised to embrace the future, inspiring movement, and creating tomorrow. The entire weight of today's vehicle is supported on a surface smaller than a credit card inside the wheel hub assembly. With so much riding on it, why would you use something other than OE quality replacement parts? OE quality, premium product. BCA bearings by NTN. Next time on Road to Apex. We're here at Ohio Technical College preparing the Blackwood for the Road to Apex. Can it come in from this side? Because it's it's gonna hook up back here. And you can't just throw wheel bearings in without grease. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. It'll be good to see something actually go out and get out into the world. Well, this is definitely going to get into the world. It's going to go all the way to Las Vegas on the road to Apex.